Hello everyone. For today's project, I am just taking some regular white caulking and I'm just going to fill up about a quarter of this cup. But first all I'm going to do is just snip off the tip about an eighth of an inch, not too large. And this is one of those um, dollar store cups you can get, I think, 10 in a package for a dollar, and I'm just going to throw it away afterwards. And then next, I am adding some pure pink acrylic paint to turn the caulk a different color. It doesn't take very much at all. It's probably about a teaspoon of paint. And next, I'm adding two different kinds of glitters to add some sparkle to this pink mixture. It didn't really show up in the end result, but I still see it there, so I still like it. Then with just a regular plastic knife, I'm going to go ahead and stir and combine the mixture till all till you don't see any more white streaks or any glitter. Then after this, I'm just going to use the same knife and I'm going to apply the caulking onto a small paint trinket box. These come in a four pack for Michaels and I picked mine up for $1.99. It also includes pink blue, yellow, and green. They're very cute in there in the beading section. So all I did was smooth out the caulk as evenly as I could. You could choose to do swirls or any kind of design, pipe it on there. All I'm going to do is take the tube of the white caulk and I'm going to create like a shell board around the edges. This was actually the first time I've ever created this kind. I think it turned out pretty cute. All you do is you just apply some pressure until it creates a little ball and then you pull down another little ball and pull down. You're not pushing back up, you're just staying right in place and doing so. You could also add on a tip or anything like that to get a different kind of shape. Alright, so here it is. Um, I did let it set for a little bit, but not too long because the caulk is going to be used as glue to stick my shapes and things down. So first I have some polymer clay flowers that I use that I made with a mold from Michaels. I just took some pink Sculpey clay, some green, and a little bit of yellow and I just made the flowers and then baked them. And I'm just going to put them on the opposite corners. And now I am taking this button pack that I picked up at Michael's and it has some keys and locks and um, some cute little things in there. And so I'm going to do is put a key in the top middle of it followed by the, excuse me, the matching uh, lock. And then I'm going to take two of the heart buttons and put them in the corners that the flowers aren't in. I like things to be kind of symmetrical. But again, you can decorate this any way that you'd like. And just by barely pressing into the caulk, it's just going to act just as glue and it's going to stick there. And next, I am taking some different colored sequins, which I picked up in a pack at Walmart. These are just a kind of a light pink with a metallic shine and I'm just going to push a few in all over just to add a little bit of sparkle and iridescence from whenever it's in the sun and after I finish adding them, adding them I just push down a little bit you don't have to do it a whole lot just push a little bit into the caulking And 
and now I am just going to add some silver sequins too. And I just put them wherever I felt that they needed a space. There wasn't really a rhyme or reason. I just was doing this flying by the seat of my pants. Now I have some fun shape sequins that I showed um, as a small clip in the beginning of the video. That's where I got them from. All I did was sort out um, some pinks and yellows and silvers that I was going to be using. And I put them into a little pill container. Um, they have butterflies and hearts and flowers and smaller shapes. So all I'm doing is just picking out ones that I think are cute. And I'm just going to place them on here. This is a purple iridescent butterfly. And I also have some leaves and stuff in there that I thought would be really cute and would go with this. And I still have about 99% of the huge bag of sequins left. Um, this took very little. And so here I am just adding some onto the border and onto the top part of itself. And um, why I like doing deco din is I think there's not really a right or wrong way that everybody has a different way of doing so and I think it all turns out looking awesome. So I'm just adding my own kind of personal flair onto this. And again, you can add as much or as little decoration as you want, whatever things you'd want to put on there. It just, the possibilities are endless and no two are ever the same, in my opinion. They're just so easy and fun to do and really show your creative side. And now I am just adding the last couple ones, and then I'm going to take some clear microbeads that I picked up from Michaels. And I am just going to sprinkle them over the top of it onto the pink. These don't show up really well, but they leave a really cool texture, kind of like how you can see the texture of the glitter in the pink. And it's hard to see, but I am just sprinkling it on top. And these you don't really need to push in because the force of them coming down stuck into it really well. Alright, and all I did was let this set. I didn't touch it for about two hours, and then I put it in my closet. And I let it set for about two days, and now it is completely dry. I can push on it, and it's fine, and nothing falls off. And there you go, here's the finished project. And I want to thank you all so much for watching. And if you have any ideas of your own, just go ahead and go crazy with it. I mean, it's just a really fun, awesome, easy project to do. And it would be an awesome gift to give to someone. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. And I want to thank you all so much for watching.